Alright, so recently I went to the junkyard, if uh, you guys recently saw that video, it was the last video I did um, involving my truck, really, and uh, I went and picked up a seat for it out of a 75 F250, it was a brown bench seat, um, it's the next model seat, it's got the locking hinge so the seat doesn't automatically like come forward, it's got a couple of things, it's brown, it's not green like the one I have, um, but the main reason I got it was because I have this oil seeping through the bottom of my seat, um, like I explained at the end of that video. Um, and for those of you who didn't watch, I actually have this issue with my truck to where um, behind the seat of the, the bump side trucks, there's kind of like, I don't know if all of them are like this, but mine is. You can kind of like see the, the spring and there's no, it's not covered, it's kind of open. So you can, I just kind of like put little tiny things back there, like I have a, a toe strap, a couple of miscellaneous things just stuffed in the back of the seat. And uh, my girlfriend's dad gave me an oil additive bottle, two of them. And I put them both back there, and someone sat in the passenger seat that was a little heavier than me, and leaned back, and the spring punctured the oil out of the bottle, and it seeped all the way over to the driver's seat, and the entire bottle leaked out, and this oil additive that smells terrible is seeping through the crack in the seat right where your butt sits, so it's kind of like destroying the back of all my shirts. And so I really need to kind of replace this seat because I've used every single kind of degreasant, like resolve carpet cleaner you name it i've used it a hundred times it's just going to keep coming back and i do not want to ruin any more clothes with it so it's time to replace this seat i went down to pick your part and picked this seat up for about 40 dollars. i cannot go wrong with that seat um, i'll show you guys the seat so here's the seat it was a 40 dollars seat and what i meant by the locking mechanism was right there this keeps it from pulling forward um it's only got the one tear right there it doesn't look too bad i'm just hoping the leather it looks really soft which is good so, all right, the seat um, sucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's oil in this. So I'm gonna take the four fasteners off the bottom. So there's oil right there. You can see all the oil. It's pretty gross. It goes all the way down here. It's covered with towels. Wait, wait for it. Oh yeah, that was going in my shirts. That's what my shirts look like. Yeah, it's, it's pretty gross, huh? Nasty. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like you. Shut up, Sean. All right, so I'm gonna take the bolts off the back, bolts off the front, and then slide the seat out. Hopefully, put the new turd seat in. Yeah, I bet you it'll look better because it's brown. It'll match the rust. Yeah, shut up. You work on boats. Yeah, you do. Boat person. Car when you're older. He bends over and takes it every single day. Yeah. No, I fix boats for people that bend over and take it every day. From you? No. Come on. Yeah. It looks different now. What? See? It's like got more orange in it now. I'm colorblind, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> you can see it, huh? It got rustier. <laughs> it's more patinier year. No, it just this is a little more rust. Dang it. Yeah. Gosh dang it. You're not preserving any of it, it's just getting worse. Gosh really darn dang it. Pretty much. Did you get that bolt out? Fuck no, not yet. Uh, I'm gonna have to bleep that out now. Oh. Sensors for the children. Demonetize. Demonetize. <laughs> Weep no. Come on, give me some sandwich. Nice. Big holes, pennies, a lot of oil. You can see all the oil now. All the oil. I, I just cleaned this and it's already got oil again. And ice cream. Shout out to Remy. And now I got this seat. That's better. How do you, how, what do you guys think? It's a good seat. Pretty good. I mean, it just, it'll match all your rust. You stop commenting about my patina. It's got a hole. Okay, that's... No. Demonetize. Oh my goodness.
on it. So I just vacuumed everything out. It looks a little bit better. But I got, I recently got this slick mist interior cleaner. So I kind of want to try it out it's on the floors to see if it can clean up some of the browning going on on the floors. And uh, I'll probably use it on the dash too. See if I can clean the whole interior up, make it look a little bit better. Ready done? Nah, dude, do a tail whip. Do something cool or you're nothing. Nope, you have to do a trick. You can't just jump off. You hit my freaking. What? <laughs> I should have worn my butt pad. <laughs> nice. Is it bad that I'm tired from that? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> You done with that thing yet? No, I need an extension so I can ratchet it up here. Watch, here. TV. You need this guy? Yeah. Come get it. <laughs> I'm just got. I'm getting stuck in a cord now. Titan. It's gonna be the cringiest video ever. If you're cross setting that, I'm yeah. gonna murder you. I don't think I am. Why don't you slide the seat forward a little bit more, bud? Okay, slide it forward. I oh, not cross -setting. It's hitting the steering wheel. There we go. Try it again. Oh, yeah, that's as far as it goes. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Oh, as far as it goes. What the heck did you get that? Just keep stealing all my little toys. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I used to have a bike to match that. I sold it. Your butt must hate you today. This door will not stay open. Oh. Craig. <laughs> what? Your truck's being a cunt. Why? Because your bolt doesn't want to screw in. Then take it. Try screwing in like a thread side down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Just the question. Yes. <laughs> I have actually. You're fine. Side. You do this side and I'll do that side. Yeah, you. Come on. You, you swallow. You Skip suck. straight to that. You suck. You swallow. So there it is. Everything's all installed. They still got green seat belts, but I guess whatever. Clean the floor a little bit. Looks a little bit better. Everything seems fine. The padding is so much stiffer. There's a lot more padding on this one. So I literally almost hit my head on the roof. I'm 6'2", so it's hard for me to kind of fit in this truck. It seats all the way back and I'm, I don't really fit all that great. Um, but regardless, I fit pretty good. Um, oh, it's definitely sits a lot higher, I noticed, which isn't that great, but it'll go down. I'm not really that worried about it. This is also temporary. This, uh, this truck will get buckets and I haven't even cleaned the seat yet. The seat's still dirty. Uh, but I'm gonna get buckets these that are low when I put the five-speed in. Yes, I still am putting the five-speed in. It's sitting over in my garage. I'll get to it. I just haven't had the, all the resources and time and money yet to do that. Let's go to the other side. So yeah, you can see how flat the seat was and just squishy and no padding or no anything really when I come up to this one. I think it looks a lot better too with the, the brown. I like the brown a lot more. But you can see how, how much more padding there is. I sit in this thing. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty close now. It's kind of hard for me to sit, see my gauges because of the steering wheel, so that's going to be a, a pain. But I mean, I could slinch down and I could see my feet, I hope. Like, I fit fine. I don't hit the dash or anything, but it's just kind of like when I'm on clutch, like my legs do this. So this will be interesting. I'm just hoping I don't like hit a bump and put a hole in my headliner. That would really suck. Um, but yeah.
Like the video if you did enjoy. Let me know what you think down below about the seat. Should I keep it for a long time? Should I go buckets? What should I really do? If you like the brown, let me know what you think. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.